Welcome back to Digging with Robbo. Today, the Turon River. I think I'm just going to walk the river because it's so dry. Well, obviously, uh, if you're in Australia now, you know how dry it is in uh, New South Wales. So I'm going to take advantage of the river being dry and I'm just going to walk it uh, around the diggings. Um, I might uh, head up off the bank uh, and see what goodies I can find. Today, I'm looking for relics, obviously, not gold. So, uh, We'll see how we go. Doug, got a funny signal, scratchy, bit of iron in it. I don't know, what's this? Uh, I don't know what it is. Pretty heavy iron, thick and old. So there's a bit of tin in there as well, but this stood out on the AT gold because of its shape. And I've learnt you need to dig these type of things. So moved on a bit further, lots of trash around, lots of trash. Bit of water pipe, modern stuff. People should take their rubbish away with them. And I found this chunk here, it's massive. So this is from our old, from the old fellas. Oh, this. Very noisy around here and I thought to myself, well, if there's machines here, there might be a bit more. So then I've got a 52 on the AT Gold. And I've dug this out, I haven't had a look at it yet. Where is it? There, you see that? Let's have a look. I'll clean it up and I'll get back to you and it looks like it's going to be 10 cents. I hope not. I'll clean it up and get back to you. There it is. Ugh. I'm after coins, 1973. If you're that keen, there's Elizabeth. And 1973. That's a start. Things can only get better. I'll keep going. Only moments ago I found the um, 10 cent piece. And I was kind of been stewing over it. 10 cents. How can you find 10 cents? I don't want to find 10 cents. I've got 10 cents at home. I've got plenty of 10 cents at home. But then put things into perspective. It's been here for almost 45 years, I hope, and no one else has found it. Perfect. That's a long time. Now there's lots of trash here, lots of rubbish where people have done their rubbish. Lots of iron from the old timers. So I'm kind of a little bit enthusiastic now. And I'm 10 cents better off. Happy days. So today, so today the settings for the ATA disc one, I always use this one. I'm, I'm not brave enough to use all metal. Uh, my sensitivity is right up. Now I'm running my, because there's lots of trash around, I'm running my uh, uh, eye discrimination at 44, so the highest, but I've turned it down and uh, we'll have a swing and you can have a look just uh the type of stuff you hear just with uh so who knows you know, so to make my job a bit easier, I'll just turn this up to full tilt. 44 on the iron discrimination. On the AT gold. See how we go. Same spot, going over the same spot. Massive difference, massive difference. So, uh, thank you, Garrett, for iron discrimination. So there you go, iron discrimination. Like I've gone, what, two metres from the last one where I showed you the iron discrimination, if it makes it to the video. Had this little squeaker at 62. <coughs> I haven't looked at it yet. 
Can you see it? Where is it? There it is. Nice little button. Old timers button. The beauty about buttons is you can clean them up and they're usually marked and you can see the history on them. I'll keep going. So a scratchy signal, terrible really. Anyway, kept digging, it was down pretty deep. And I dug this up. I was a little bit confused at first about what it was. It's falling apart. I think, I think, my first pocket knife. Happy days. Had troubles with this one though. How come targets are always near these things? I've been jabbed in the hand and they got stuck on my boot and when I crouched down the spike stuck me in the ass. I hate cactus. Righto, so here's a wrap up for today. Two hours of uh, detecting. Uh, pretty happy. Compulsory 22 calibre rounds. There's my junk, a bit of iron there. I think that's off the end of my shovel. Found that bottle there. That's a pretty good example of a, an old school bottle head. Bit of trash, sounded really good. And the steel ring. Now, 10 cents. The old fella's button and best of all is the pocket knife <coughs> pardon me i'll do a bit of research on that doesn't look like it's had a timber timber uh handle on it so it's all, all all metal we'll see how we go so good day it's starting to get hot i'm gonna have something to eat and i'm going home to do some more work